All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MP Paranormal. This is going to be season two, the start of our season two here, and we picked a good one for you, Yorktown Memorial Hospital. Behind me stands a, you could call it a doorway to something very, very, very dark. This building has seen more than 2,000 deaths in 30 years, from its opening in 1950 to its closing in 1986. After the building closed in 1986, the building was used as a drug rehab facility. So the owner that we were here with that was giving us a tour of the location wouldn't allow us to record him while filming. But what he did tell us is when it was a drug rehab facility that people were running out into the streets, strangling people, the police were always being called to this location. And as well, when it was a hospital, like I said before, 2,000 people have died here. And if you look behind me, all the way down to the end of the hallway, just left and right, there's only about 10 hospital rooms here. Not only that, is that this hospital has seen so many different kinds of negative acts. And we want to talk about one that stuck out like a sore thumb. So this hospital was owned by the Felician Sisterhood, which was ran by the Catholic Diocese when it opened in the 1950s. Downstairs below us is the priest quarters. The priest would live here with three of the Felician Sisters who were nuns at the time. And the priest was not a good man. He impregnated the nuns twice. And what they did is they performed abortions on themselves and downstairs right below where I'm standing they would throw the fetus corpses in the incinerator. On top of that Eddie the caretaker was telling us that people have on numerous occasions broken into this building and conducted dark satanic rituals. Um, I remember he was telling us that he walked downstairs in the basement to find a raccoon that was cut open and his guts were spread everywhere sitting inside of a pentagram with candles and satanic and demonological runes on the wall. So we picked a good location to start season two, and I don't really know what we're getting ourselves into, but y'all better buckle up. All right, so we got the Robbins family with us here tonight. We got some special guests. They're actually going to go off and uh, have their own ghost adventure on their own. Then we got me and Devin. We're actually going to head upstairs. And then we got Dylan and his wife. Where are you all heading? Yeah, me and Alice are going down to the chapel to start tonight off. So. Yeah, and I'm wearing this because there's a lot of black mold in this place and somebody got pneumonia way back when. And I'm just not playing any games with that. I want to stay healthy. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Let's right. go. See you in a little bit. All right, so we're heading upstairs. I haven't been up here yet. I have no idea what we're walking into. I will admit that uh, when we came in here a little bit earlier, uh, my heart rate, when Evie was giving us a tour, my heart rate was at 120 beats per minute. And I was literally standing still. And it wouldn't go away for about 15 minutes. So that tells me that something is very dark in this building. Seems to me energetic. I can mean, actually feel it up here. Alright, so we're going to start out tonight by going into the chapel. As Eddie explained it to us, for whatever reason, he wanted to call it the Chapel of Hell. So, hopefully, these kids are done screaming. So when I was here last time, I heard a bunch of uh, like footsteps and stuff. So let's see. Who's in the chapel with us tonight? You like it better with all the lights off? Feel free to move around, walk up to us, speak, so we can hear you. Are you still here? You're not here anymore. The table has to you over. I want to know if that's you. Make the table move. Can we 
Bang on the table. Ooh, I'm getting like nauseous. Do you want to go out? It felt like almost like someone was shuffling near as well to me. What's your name? Tell us who you are. They would like to know you. Yeah, my nausea is gone. I was like nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Now I feel a little lighter too. Uh, but seriously, I was like yeah. nauseous. Yeah. <sighs> no, that was like a weird energy. I can't explain, you know? Why does it move or it makes noise? then like it should be a continuous thing if it's a bug or something right i can't like understand <sighs> now it's completely silent yeah no, that's weird no i was not feeling well like my stomach was like turning oh, that's really weird in there hey stay close to me okay describe describe are you trying to describe what happened to you? Whatever that is, it looks fresh. What? It doesn't look like any. It looks like it's. It's water. Can we go through here? Oh, I just got a pain in my chest. <clears throat> So when there's fresh water on the ground and it hasn't rained down here, it hasn't rained in Texas, at least in the south, southeast Texas for about two weeks. If there's fresh water on the floor, some people believe in the paranormal field. I'm agitated. Bro, did you hear that? I'm sorry. We're not trying He's to agitate. Agi okay, I heard that huge knock and it says I'm agitated. Why are you agitated? Uh, we're going to take a picture right, here we go. Here goes Hey, please, any spirits show up in the hallway. Here we go. Say cheese. I'm going to gently take that out and put it in your pocket. What the hell was that? I heard that too. You heard it? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Was that blowing? I sure as hell hope so. Take another photo. Maybe you don't like his picture taken. Hey, if that was you making noise, come back in the hallway. We're taking your photo again. Whoever just grunted. Perfect. That was weird. This could be a nice place to sleep on. Uh, I feel like I wanted to throw up. That's a possible. You know, just felt a little heavy and then a little light, but. scuff right behind us, like, like right on the stairs. Like this? Really? Yeah. And neither of us were moving because I didn't yeah, want to contaminate we were, your... we were listening to you, what you were doing, and then just, and I was like, oh. No, there's there's things in here, yeah. man. Like, I'm telling you. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was in there, and I was like, I got really hot, and like, because we were... But that's from outside. You heard it? No. It's definitely from there, but the window is open. No, I was like in the um, 
in that room and I started to get really dizzy in the dark and I was like, okay, maybe it's just dark and my stomach was just like awful. And she was like, and then, and then the table stopped moving and then it was just like kind of like eased off, but it was just like something bad. I don't know. That was, God, I was like, is it okay? Or no? Staring at that door. No, I feel like there's somebody in there, and whoever it is yeah. is not a good something, and yeah. it's just watching us. Mm. But why won't you come out? Say something. You're obviously trying to make me feel nauseous to make me leave. Why? Whoa. What was that? That was something physical that just moved. Orbic. Uh, is someone trying to go here to read the Bible? Whatever you are, whoever you are, the Lord protects us and we're in his house. You have no power over us. Yeah, I got hit with a wave of nausea. Mm. I mean, it really sounded like someone stepping on something, like a wood step, like very clearly. <sighs> Man, I know, I know this, there's dark energy here. You can feel it. Yeah, I don't know, it's not relaxed, it's very unsettling. What do you want? Ooh. Mm. Do you want to step outside? No, because then it wins. You're not going to force me out. I'll leave on my own recognizance. I've been to places much worse than this. What's your name? Or are you not going to tell me your name? Are you a demon? Spawn of hell? I need to, I need to step outside. Yeah, it's not good in here. Mm, yeah. It's quite bad in here. It's like in waves, though. Exactly. It's like something's like, this energy is like coming back and forth. Yeah, it's like he's walking around, or it's walking around. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let me go get some fresh air. Okay. Fighting the urge to just vomit. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but. It's almost as I leave the chapel, I feel like instantaneously better. Mm, yeah. Right. I agree. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's like it was a suspended, you know, atmosphere, like something's about to happen. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like edgy. Feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have to watch out, you know? Yeah. Um, <sighs> All right. I, I got to take a uh, outside. So we'll, we'll be right back. So... We're going to go into the chapel because I had to step outside for a little while. 
and because uh, I was just getting like super nauseous. Um, hopefully, I caught it on video and it's already published here. But we heard somebody step up to the like preacher's area, so and I was just feeling really nauseous. I had to go outside and and freaking sit in the car for a little while. So we're gonna go back into the chapel. The team's kind of linked up now, and I think that's how we're gonna do the rest of the night. Maybe some solo stuff later, but uh, so we can get multiple cameras and we're gonna do the cat balls and see if this n- nasty thing. What about the laser grid? She's got the laser grid. I think we should run that too, just to double validate things. Yeah. I'm gonna run a night vision now. I'm gonna do my best to do that. Sure, that's the first time I've ever lifted open a coffin. GS2 earlier, and for whatever reason, something was hanging out, and Alice and I were hearing like shuffling noises from that room over there. So that's where I'm going to point this laser grid, and we can hope that something will walk in there. This is cool. It's the most equipment we've had. Yeah. I have the orb of confusion too, dude. I can't like. I feel really uh, every time I'm excited right now. That's what she was feeling. No, like whatever, uh, I guess whatever you encounter definitely has some uh, energy to it. It does, it has enough to make me feel sick. I'm gonna have to set this thing up right here. <laughs> it's okay, Robinson. What's up? I thought you were freaking out. Where's that tripping again? It's gotta be that board. There you go, there you go, sorry. If I wanna know who you are, the bees again. Hmm? The bees. They're the bees hanging out here. They don't like the light panel, I'll tell you that much. It's like.
like summoning bees on them. Yeah. Pull that candy man. Yeah, I want to know what's in here, but we can't freaking record anything if there's bees flying around my microphone. Might as well just use your audio, Clark. Yeah, I'm not even shot. There's something bad in here. You need to make yourself known. Touch one of the cat balls. Are you in this room still over here? Hey, come on, show us your power then. Or are you nothing? Dude, these bees are trying to like sting my camera, bro. Are they? Yeah. They're like going crazy. You made Dylan feel sick. Show us something again. How many bees are on your camera? Two. I can hear them from here. I was murdering them in droves earlier. If that red light, if it uh, receives movement, what happens? It'll uh, it'll alert. Oh, you're at light. Can one of the bees trigger it? Probably not. So like if I walk over here. It's done. Okay. Yeah. I'm in church right now. I want you to come up to one of these devices here and set it off just like that. They're placed all around the room right now. You wanted to affect us when it was just me and Alice, but now there's more of us in here, and now you want to back off? What about the growling? What about the grunting? Make yourself known. You can walk around, you can yell, you can... I heard rustling from over here. Hmm. You over in the confessional booths? something dark, we don't invite you to us, but to, we invite you into this space. We know you're here. What? What? I felt something tingly in my back, in my back of my neck. Something tingly? It wasn't a bee. It feels lighter. Exactly. Yeah. Where did you go? Can you give us a sign where you're at? Yeah, good idea.
You're going to die just like your friends did. Yeah, they're like dive bombing the, the microphone and they're trying to stab it. This thing is weird. I've never seen that. Yeah, I can't explain that. Because they're bees or whatever, but you know what it is? It's probably because we're killing them, they're releasing the pheromones, and the bees are. Oh, come on. Oh, oh shit. Maybe a bee touch thing? Yeah, one of the bees. No. Is that your father? There's no church in the end, dude. Chirping connected to it all? I think so. You got the straight. <laughs> yeah, I got it right. No worries. Oof, that's but that's like on your own floor. You also got it. On the right hand side. Tear. Tear. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. That's still going, huh? Sorry, yeah. everybody, for the bee killing extravaganza we're going on here, but. <laughs> Who's touching that cat ball? Why is it doing that? That's so weird. Is that the chirping spirit? Can you set another one off? If you know how to set this one off? What's that tapping? Oh. What was that? Oh, it's actually detecting something. Is it? What is it? Yeah. Oof. Would it be detecting the, the light? No, the distance of the... Why could be? Let me reset it. Can you set up another camera? Quiet. What is it? Quiet. No, we won't be quiet. Do you want us to be quiet because we're in a church? There be silence in the church. Oh, it is picking something up. No way. What is it? It's like there's it's motion. Who's touching the cat ball? Give me your name. Make a noise. Is that the father? Dude, it's like mapping. It's mapping, uh, can I turn my light down? Nancy. Nancy. It's the light. That looks fucking trippy, dude. You see the screen? Yeah. It's, it's right above it. Above the cat ball? Yeah. Should I have Polaroid? Yeah. yeah. 100%. It's growing. Let's do it. Manifest in front of us. We're going to take your picture. It's over here. Right here. That's it. All right. The directional just picks it up, like right here. Show up in this picture, please. And then it goes off. Holy. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Robin, just put the picture in your pocket. It'll develop through time. Yeah. Hit it again. Who is it? Take two. Yeah, so, go ahead. I mean, it's still going on. It's still there. Father, is that you? Show up in this picture. I'm going to back up a little bit this time. Yeah. See, all the way since the cat ball went off, it like backed off. Like the, it's only detecting. Which side? Oh, there it goes again. All right, here we go. 
Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, I mean, and the cat ball is going off too, so it's like. No, yeah, it's like double. Yeah. And the bees are gone. This is great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and the spirit talk is popping. I'm going to do it from right back this time. Go for it. You got eight shots. So I just went, hey, do that? What, no. Like an audible? Sisters. Stella. Stella. Or as I said, sisters, they represent Stella. Do we know the nun's names? No, we, we, can, we can do research after the fact. We've, we've heard probably eight or nine names tonight. And I don't know if there's a way to figure out who the 2,000 people's names were. I, mean, I don't know yeah. if that's documented or what. But it'd be interesting to see if any of those names match. They know not, they know. Yeah, well. Do you think you could show up on my device one more time? Walk up. We would like. We're here for the sermon. Can you preach to us? We think there's evil here. We'd like to hear the word of the Father. Could you do that for us? 
Okay. Yeah, the all roads are pretty slow. Uh, doable. Oh, we got a oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, come. Can you come closer? My God, you gotta understand. This has a light sensor on it, and what it's doing is it's detecting. Move it away, it doesn't do anything. Uh, this thing works. Can we get some sort of sign that you are a. we're one of the priests? It's like something's trying to manifest in the bottom right over here by the door. Yeah, so basically, this LED screen takes in, you can like. Kind of figure out the pinpoint based on the LED screen. It's like something's over in that door over there. Can you peek out from that door, please? You pick anything up? It's just one. It's one. It's it's, it's detecting something. Like where exactly in the grid? So if you look where the grid is. Yeah. The wall, all, uh, all the way to the top right corner, go all the way down to the bottom right corner. Bottom right? Like by the door? Yeah, by the door, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. We just want to talk. What's interesting is it's pinging the direction as well. So that means that it knows it's the where the disturbance is coming from. Okay, I'm going to move it towards you over here. To us? I thought I just heard something. I heard a hay earlier. You prefer the dark, don't you? Manifesting in front of us? If you could walk towards us, that'd be amazing. We'd really like to see you, and this device helps us. Peek your head around the corner. you a lot of energy, but could you stand right where that red dot is? And if you could walk towards us, towards the source of the light, that'd be really, really great. It's weird because the when, so basically when this thing gets set up, mm -hmm. it measures. I'm pretty sure that red dot 
is also a thermometer, like a laser thermometer. So it's pointing at the door and it's measuring 73 degrees. But for whatever reason, it's spiking up to 80 degrees. So that's a seven degree difference. All right, so first off, obviously I'm wearing a rosary. So this is my um, rosary from Vatican City that I got that's uh, blessed by Pope Francis in public mass. I thought I'd put it on to maybe stir up some negative things are here and then also maybe wear something that's familiar to the Felician Sisterhood and the priests that were here since this is a Catholic hospital. Um, so we're going to venture downstairs to the basement where the priest's quarters are and where the psychiatric prison cell is, also where the site of a double murder-suicide that is legitimately uh, factual. That actually did happen, uh, and we'll show you the place that it happened. So let's go. No, 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 no. I forget where the priest quarters are at. I didn't come in here before. Here it is. Where? What? That's what I found upstairs. Hold on. Or it's still wet. Or is it jelly? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's wet. No, it's, yeah, it's still wet. Why? No, and I found this upstairs, too, when it was me and my brother. Oh, Dude. yeah. yeah. It's, it's still wet. Is it blood? Are we sure? What else could it be? Or Kool Aid? Did we didn't put that there. No, but that was upstairs too. Remember, Dylan? Yeah. Is that, is that fresh? Yeah, no, it's I still just. Still wet. Look, I can smell yeah. it. No, okay. what the actual. No. Is that, it must be rust dripping from the ceiling. Oh. Um, Boy, it has a nest. Oh. Hey, that's probably that room. No, where's the rust, bro? <laughs> find you, find you the <laughs> this rust. This is the one not rusty spot. Yeah. No, but look how it's smeared, bro. That is blood. It's dry now, but I found that. 
Yeah, yeah, but look. Is yeah. it below the bird's nest? Yeah. There's nothing coming no, out. I don't see anything. Um, yeah, I don't think it is. Oh, what? Let me see. Why is there wet blood? Hey, look. No, it's like, it'd be here. Like, there's no, there's, you know what I mean? Like, this is like right there's nothing dripping. And look how it's smeared too. Like that is certainly blood. Is it there? Yeah. That is certainly blood. I'm not making you use cross now. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you, was that really wiping out his shoe? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sure. Okay. Why is there blood on the bed? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Bro. I mean, there's got to be something on our toilet, or like some kids are playing around. Yeah, just throwing. I guess, stuff. dude, but like. Oh, you're right. Do you think it's is like? Is it fresh on the bedpost? Yeah. Is that? It's blood, not paint. That's paint. That bright red is paint. But you sure? How are you saying that? Because if it was to dry, it would congeal because that's, you know what I mean? Like, just logically, that's just what blood does, you know? When it oxidizes, it's going to get like a hmm. bronze color, right? Uh, so paint, like they made it to look like blood? I don't understand. Now this, though, like if you've ever had a bloody nose, like when in the middle of the night and you wake up and your sheets are like that, hmm. I'll still sit on it. No, really. Come on, because Keith, hold on to that. The brown band of Or when you're on your period, you know. That's what <laughs> Sorry, that's but. That's what I said upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Mm. Huh. Father, I bring, uh, I bring a rosary in here. Ugh. I want to know. Why you did what you did. Why you decided that it would be a good idea to impregnate those co-workers and then conduct one of the most inhumane things that you could possibly do, which is have those sisters abort their babies and then disgustingly throw them into the incinerator. Why would you do something like that? I just want to take a minute. Can you imagine sleeping in here? <laughs> like, what kind of weird dynamic is this, you know what I mean? Well, like, content. It just doesn't, like, like, there are some places in this world that are just, just odd. And this is one of them. Like, what kind of weird mm. thing is this? Okay. Are you even down here? Is there anybody down here? Anybody in the basement, if you can hear me, let us know that you're down here. Bang on something. Alice was requesting that you whisper in her ear. I'm sure she'll regret that if it happens, but... Sounds like a bad fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's inconsistent. Did somebody tell me what the chirping is all about. He was walking around. Is it chirping? Did you hear that? Yeah. No. Now it's whistling. Yeah. Are you a spirit? Are you a chirping spirit? Is that how you talk?
like the bathroom? No. Is the bathroom in it? It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's super uncomfortable. Yeah. It's weird. I'm going to go. The way it looks. Yes. Yeah. I think these spirits like the darkness. Might be it. Some of them do. Some of them are in here. Oh, is there? Yeah. There's a mirror here. It's right above me. What? The you chirp. You think it could be? You think it could be like a water or something? Water, but like potentially just like natural size, seismic, like seismology, and then it's just like making the pipes shift. You know, the buildings like shift on their foundations and stuff. Yeah. Sounds like somebody's doing like a crossover on a basketball court or something. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like squeaking of the speakers. <laughs> yeah. Someone's, someone's. Can you try to push one of the pipes and make the sound? Why are there clothes over there? I feel like if I pushed the pipe, it would like make oh, the whole yeah. building, the yeah. whole yeah. place would fall <laughs> down. Do that one of this lucky pipe. I'm just wondering why are there clothes? For like scenic effects or? What the sh? Yeah. What? It could be like a weird insect. What do you think? I don't know. It's a mouse. Uh, it you like think? But well, you would see it if it's a. But it could be up between in the flooring between the levels. Hmm. That's how it's able to get through your room. Oh. Maybe you're not hearing it like. That's true. Yeah, moving it. Yeah. Yeah. Also. The what are you? Chirp for us. I don't like the darkness though. I don't like it. This is where we thrive. Yeah. This. Sorry, can I say that? Oops. I did. Sorry. Alright, we got it how you like it. I'm feeling really cold on my left side right now. Yeah, it did get chilly. Somebody just, somebody just went hmm. on my left. Yeah, no, the windows don't have Yeah, but the... Let's see. What story is this bad? I don't know. I feel like they're in there. That's so strange. Oh, never mind. They're not there. It's like something's tickling my neck. It's been happening to me all night. Gonna run Spirit Talker again? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what happened the night that the murders happened? I'm still around. Oh. Okay, where are you? If you're still around, let us know that you are actually around. Come over here and touch me. Brush my arm. Touch you? Yeah. 
Was that after I said, can you let us know you're still around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zoom in over your head real quick and put some water. No, uh, you're clean. Yeah, no, there's not. Why did you touch him? I mean, I, I appreciate you giving us a sign. I asked you to touch me, not him. You're still around. Well, where is that? Can you be more specific? Oh, you just had an orb fly over your shoulder. Really? What happened? You just had an orb fly over your shoulder. I was shooting him too, but I was looking at the screen, so I wonder if I got it. So you're in, are you in this room with us right now? I'm trying to see if there's a phone connection or something. Do you mind holding this, Alice? I don't know if they, when you're around here, it'll just shoot the screen. It's just not bad. You're still around. Can you move location? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where? Where do you want us to go? Can you give us some sort of audible sign? Can you knock? You want us to move locations, we just need to know where to go, and we'll come to you. So we can the better bedroom at all? Inside. Better? Inside of where? It's a little vague. We needed something a bit more specific, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It could be some sort of just a. Mm. Yeah. The device is yeah, cool, but you know, I want something more relevant. You know. Yeah, for sure. Like this is not it. Mm. Here's the thing, though. So I know we're in the basement or whatever. Mm. It doesn't feel too bad. No, 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 but like it's not cold outside. Like the ambient temperature in here upstairs was 70 degrees, mm. but it's like quite chilly. Yeah, I had to move my video. Think it's more warm than the basement, is it? Like yeah, it's a fair point, but. Oh my god! Oh. I'm making it cold. Oh my god! Oh, really? Oh, oh, really? Are oh. you? Are you here with us? Is that why it's cold? Oh, dude, I feel like I'm going to my back right now. We were just talking about it being cold. <laughs> Are you sure that thing doesn't pick up what we're saying? No, it doesn't. No. I feel it behind me. No way. Okay, sit so, on, so. Who are you? Doubt it's contagious, too. Yeah. So real quick while it's in between searching here. Mm. I was telling Alice earlier that uh, I think the building was feeding off of us. That's why it was been kind of quiet. Like that draining feeling that we were all feeling. Yeah, I was super tired before and now I feel okay. Um, I took another time on the drink. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the, I think the whole, whoever, well, you, you know how it goes. Yeah, they're, they're draining energy. They drain you. Well, remember when we first got in here and oh. we shot the end? Okay. Hiding. Hiding, oh. yeah. We're supposed to come and find you, is that it? We're supposed to do hide and seek? Or should we hide? What do you mean? Yeah. It's not cold anymore, is it? Also because, you know, it doesn't pick what we're saying because it would keep on replying to what we're saying. So that was just true. Yeah. You know, it was, you know what I noticed in, at the, when, the last place we were at is the, the cat ball just moved on its own. Remember? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, it just moved like on its own. 
Here's a specific question. What do y'all think about the rosary that I'm wearing? Do y'all approve of that? Oh, God. <gasps> gruesome. What? What was gruesome? The murders that happened here? No, he Literally his, here. Or is his necklace gruesome? Or is his rosary oh. gruesome? <laughs> I thought this was a holy place. Why would a uh, why would a rosary be gruesome? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. The app is called Spirit Talker. Yeah. Yep. It's a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> Standing behind you. Who? Who? Relax. Who are you standing behind? Can you give one of us a sign? Except for Allison, don't touch her. Dude, it's freezing cold behind my back. Is it? Yeah, I'm getting my tingles too. You're behind me then? Show up on my camera then. Who are you behind? Well, that coldness is like in this room right now. We want to know who you are standing behind. I don't care if you stand behind me. You're a ghost, you can move wherever you want. Yeah, it's like the messages from you and no one else. It's not uncommon for that to happen. Who are you standing behind? I'm pretty sure it was me. Give it some time to pick up. What was that? Was that not in the hallway? Poor. What? Poor. Poor. Yeah. I don't think it's the windows, just think about you it. don't, I mean, no, it's a super, they, oh, go. 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 Oh, I was like, oh, there's yeah. four, four cops in here right now. <laughs> that would be, uh. Where do you want us to go? Can you say one of our names on that device? Are you smart enough to know our names? Dress. Well, isn't there a dress in this closet? Do you flip your screen around, Brian? While you're doing that weird. I appreciate the contact and the communication that you're giving us through these devices. Uh, the only thing I do ask is that I would really appreciate something audible. If you could do that for us, whether that's speaking, whether that's walking, banging on something. Scratch me on my back. I heard y'all like to scratch people. Give me a good one. Scratched many, many times before. You know, I've never been scratched. Not once. I think I've just seen, I don't know if it's IR 
pick that up or what? But uh, that door? The shadow. You got a shadow? Moved uh, across. Uh, among. Oh. Uh, among. What is that? Among. Among. Mm. Uh, but I, I'd seen something like the ghost of sauce moved across. <laughs> 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 Well, let's keep that thing rolling, and we can uh, move around. Ooh, okay. I'm on know. my last quarter of battery. <clears throat> of what? I'm on my last quarter of battery. Okay. So let's go until I die. Oh, my so camera dies, not me. Hmm. Hmm. Now we're gonna go into another room. So. Thanks for talking to us and making us feel. Yeah. Now that was wicked. I'm making it cold. I mean, I'm making it cold, yeah. It's pretty cold. Mm. Oh, wait. Next to it. Oh, this place is the high. Yeah. Like you guys this, is, this is interesting. <laughs> Me and Brian. Oh, we came through like the big one. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, you <laughs> see. Oh. There is a. A branch of ivy in that room in the chapel that I noticed. Are you mentioning that ivy? Hmm. Are we going to try this again? Somebody tell me what the deal is with this jail cell. Somebody explain to me why there's a jail cell in a hospital that was banned by the Catholic Church. This is my land. This is my land. Well, hold on, I'm switching gears here. Is there something native here? I guess we're tripping. We can tell. Is this native land? Is there something, or is this built on burials or? Sacred land? That was a whisper. Did you hear that just now? You heard that, right? Yeah. I, heard, I heard. I didn't. Really? It was behind you. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm not standing there. Are you a man? Are you territorial? Are you saying this land is yours? No, I don't know what that was. What is that? Is that true? Yeah. I would very much like to know if you're something native. Maybe a lot, maybe nobody knows that, and you can let us know. Playing on these iron bars is super loud, then. I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Why? Can we get some context for that message? If you're angry, scare me out of this jail cell then, because I'm not afraid of you and I don't care that you're mad at me. I don't care that this is your land either. What, what was that? that? That was an APC. That sounded gruesome, man. It did. That it sounded did. wicked. I didn't hear anything. Over, it was over here. Sounded, yeah. No, well, at least from my perspective, it sounded like. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. Are you guys saying? What are you? Show us your anger then. I don't care. I'm 
My lungs collapsed. My lungs collapsed. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Or a hospital of feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Specific. Are you angry because your lungs collapsed and they, and they couldn't save you? Or that they failed to do their job and that's why your lungs collapsed and you died? We're here to listen to you. Grow again. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like a spirit would just jump out of my body. Bang on something real loud then. energy trying to grow the spirits. Man, if that's all you got, we're not impressed. <laughs> we're not really. Okay. Go ahead and appear then. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Do it, you all. What do you say? Appear or appear? No, appear. Yeah. Okay, yeah. show yourself then. Yeah. Show yourself in one of these doorways. Come on, we're, we're all down here waiting. I want you to growl, I want you to dance, do something. I don't think anything negative is here. Nothing this is right. The great chirping spirit is back. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know, you tell us. Atmosphere, like when storms mm -hmm. are coming or earthquakes or whatever, the like birds fly away. Yeah, that they have like um, birds that are around spiritual places, like the electromagnetic, because birds are very electromagnetic, right? Because they migrate and they, they use the uh, atmospheric conditions for sensing. So maybe when energy is shifting around these locations, or they detect it and it wakes them up. And they, well, that'll have been up the whole time, right? Yeah, and at Hill House, like it'll be like three o'clock in the morning. Birds chirping. It sounds like they're in the attic. Hmm. I heard you. Inside. Ooh. You already said that. <coughs> you are inside the haunted hospital. That's shocking. We're inside too. So what?
Let's put your question in here. What did they do inside of this? What was the psychiatric cell for? I've heard it was a psychiatric cell. Dude, you just got scratched by a sigil. Hooey! It looks like a crown. Hold on. What the hell, man? Just now? Dude, yeah, yeah. Get in the light right here. Get in the light. Dude. It looks like a trident, dude. Oh. I've seen that before. Yeah, it looks like a trident. Hey, take a picture. Yeah, so he just said, oh, 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 what the fuck? And then there's a scratch on his back. Like, I wasn't rolling, I just jumped for the camera. Woo! Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Is it, is, it, is it bright? Yeah, it's red. Yeah, I was just standing there, just like about to like get my SD card out and like format my SD card. That's a scratch, bro. It ain't the first time. It's three. Uh, maybe when we were talking about, it, there's nothing demonic here. We did just do a cleansing, so maybe it's like, you know what I mean? Maybe something was on her and jumped to me. Did you, see, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Jesus. I can't believe that shit. Sounds Could you, uh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever you are, if that's an attempt to, uh, scare me, I told you I've been scratched before. You don't bother me by that. And you know the Lord protects me. And you ain't going to be able to follow me home, possess me, get in my body, or do anything like that. I have no fear of you whatsoever. Damn, my spine hurts. Are you trying to jump onto me now? The lighting at least makes me look fit. Yeah. Well, it's you and me. I should have pulled me. I'm kind of fit, kind of fat. I look like I work out, but I also enjoy a cupcake now and then. Um, but yeah, this is a MP Paranormal. We get scratched and we do all that and uh, we don't really freak out. It's just kind of a part of the gig. <laughs> it don't bother me at all. <laughs> uh, but no, I've seen that. Where's my phone? Here. So yeah, we applied, uh, we just applied some holy water to that scratch. It's really weird because we just uh, had Robbins and uh, his wife leave. And uh, we did a little cleansing and, you know, blessed them with some holy water so they can go home safe. And uh, all of a sudden we get scratched. So, you know, maybe some kind of entity here realized that, uh, you know, we did a cleansing and, you know, we're not about the evil stuff. And uh, it decided to make a mark on one of us. I don't know if it's necessarily a sigil, but it's definitely three. I thought it was at first. Like, I saw it and I saw it. I thought it was like Roman. No, it's just a good, like, three. Three. What was that? Yeah, that's nuts, dude. Mm -hmm. And it was quick, too, because we weren't even rolling. You're like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh. exactly. It just appeared <laughs> like that. Oof. Jesus. Well, there you go. If you didn't believe that uh, dark forces um, can put hands on you, they can. And that's how I knew. I was talking about how something was dark or something was nasty. I didn't know really what it was, but there's your proof right there. And that's why I was going solo and I heard that belch. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm not doing that one. I bet you now that they put the holy water on it, it's gone. I mean, it's still a little visible, though. Yeah. yeah it's still there. Still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I think... I don't really know what the purpose is of why they do that. Um, yeah, they to you all the time. That's the thing. I've been scratched a long time. That's the first time in a long time I've been I scratched. I know, but usually when someone gets scratched, it's you. So. You know, they say that people, you know, they, they scratch sinners and they scratch... I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe, believe that. that. I think thing. they scratch whoever they want to scratch. Mm. I, don't, I better knock on wood, but I've never been scratched. Yeah. Okay. I think they, they, they take their ag agitation out on whoever they want. It's not... Right. Right. Yeah, they probably pick you because you're the tallest. Like, let's, mm -hmm. let's make an example. I've heard that before, is that... Mm -hmm. um, it's like an the, example of like the tallest you're like the biggest mm -hmm. person yeah. Like, yeah oh yeah right no seriously yeah no like like uh at, at hill house too um 
they like to go after like uh, there's like certain spirits in there that like to go after big guys because they, it's like mm-hmm. uh, it's like a dominance thing or something. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, but it's just like you know, hey, we can do this to him, like not knowing you know, yeah. just because I'm like a taller person. I don't know, mm-hmm. but all right, I'm gonna get my SD card and. All right, we're gonna sign off now, and then we're gonna head down to the basement. All right, so we are just took a little break, and we're gonna head downstairs to the room where the documented double murder suicide occurred, and that's also where the incinerator is, where they would unfortunately throw the fetuses of children into to hide the evidence from the Catholic Church. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. from Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the GS2 on the furnace. Brian's going to put some cat balls down there as well. I don't know why you'd be shy and scared. We're the one in your dark. What? I just don't shy. I thought it was you guys. Okay. So no? What do you mean? I just saw. Did you to turn around? I just seen it go across my screen. Yeah. Like right? black, right? I saw a shadow right here. You sure it wasn't you? Look, no, I can't make a shadow. Okay, try to. <sighs> okay, try to turn around once again. Yeah, no. Ooh, that was very clear. Right here. You sure it wasn't you, yeah? It can't be us when I was doing it. We're using our car. Yeah, that was very clear. Oh, well, I've seen something I'm black. Left to the right. I've seen something black go across the, so you can the white light is here. Okay, yeah, I saw it right here. That's right funny here, because it, it Right went, after the column, like it went like this. Oh, Jesus, so you're sure it wasn't you turning around. All right, Clark, go, 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 okay, go, 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 just like to be. No, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. That's good. I don't know. You're standing this way? Yeah. 
Turn off your head nice real quick. Yeah. We're standing this way. All right, this is what I did. I was standing here, and I um, panned to the left. You did. Yeah, that's all the movement I saw. You saw it with your eyes. That didn't make oh, sense. But, no, but it was, yeah, I don't think it was any of you, because it was very thin. It wasn't like, I don't know. Okay. Well, who's looking around then? Can you see the bird's not chirping anymore? Huh? The bird isn't chirping now? Are you something dark that lives down here because of the events that happened? Alright, so it is about 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, we've covered pretty much a lot of the, all the hospital and everybody's getting kind of tired and the activity kind of died down a little bit but who knows we're gonna so for the last part of tonight we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna investigate the nuns uh, say hangout spot like their quarters upstairs and uh yeah it's just the three of us now yeah just the three of us we lost jr we lost allison we lost uh devin because everybody was tired and then wanted to go home so but you know us we're troopers so Nothing against them, because I know they're going to watch this. We love y'all. We're going upstairs. Mm -hmm. This thing's been awesome. It's been running all night. Let's do it. Kind of a bunch of empty rooms. I'm waiting for one room in specific. Necklace, just like that pug. No, you ever heard like rattlesnake's nose? Uh huh. That's been happening to me all night. Mm. Honestly, it was like. Yeah. Are you some kind of spiritual force? Or maybe you recognize Saint Michael. Or you're touching my medallion, if that's what that was. Do it again. Really? So something's interacting with you right now? Who's touching Dylan? I can hear it. What do you hear? Like his necklace, is that it? The yeah. Yeah, I could hear the thing like. It could be, you know, obviously me moving my neck, maybe. I don't know. Do you want my 
medallion. Show off as a spirit or jumping into one. 